right we are currently in a room that you guys might not have seen much of before on my channel because we are in steve's office when we first moved in we did a mini makeover on our master bedroom which we have actually just remade over if you guys haven't seen that video go check it out i will link it here but the second room that we worked on was steve's office because steve has his own youtube channel he streams and stuff he wanted to have like a nice backdrop whilst we were renovating the rest of the house so that's why we prioritized doing this room but we're at a point now where we want to revisit it and give it a bit of a makeover because we're not loving it so let me take you all the way back to january 2022 and show you what this room was looking like before we got our hands on it um so very similar to the rest of the house wallpaper everywhere orangey carpets brown windows brown doors all of that jazz it had this big kind of built-in desk with like a cupboard situation which to be fair I didn't think it was that bad but it meant that we had zero flexibility within the room because it was obviously built in we ripped that out we actually put it on facebook marketplace and someone just came and collected it for free which was really useful um and in this room we have plastered the ceiling i attempted to skim the artex ceiling in here and that is a job that i will never ever 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 do again what a mistake that was it was back breaking and it looks like so the ceiling has been plastered um we stripped all the wallpaper back we painted the room we obviously went for this like two-tone situation in here with the dark on the bottom this is currently coat paint david rose um love the color i just don't think it's right for this room and the two-tone just isn't working um so we are going to switch that up but tomorrow our plaster is coming we have the same plaster we've used for like loads of our other rooms he's going to come and re-skim the absolute mess of a ceiling that i did i'm actually not even going to show you because i'm just too embarrassed it is shocking it yeah it it's bad so he is going to re-skim it for us um i should have just asked him to begin with but we learn so he is coming tomorrow to skim the ceiling um which means that today we are going to have to empty this whole room out because it kind of needs to be empty for him to be able to access stuff. So the ceiling is now dry it actually only took i think about three days to dry whereas our other ceilings took more like probably about a week but that is because i had already done a half-assed job of plastering the ceiling so he only needed to do a pva coat to prime and then just one coat whereas the other ceilings needed like priming gritting then two coats of plaster hence why they took longer to dry so this was much quicker to dry um so it's ready to paint basically steve is going to be on ceiling painting duty today um we are going to do a couple of forgot the word mist coats which is basically watered down paint um and then we'll do one solid coat it's not a huge room um but the annoying thing is normally when we paint ceilings we actually use our paint sprayer which is like the best time saving thing ever but I don't know if we have enough covers to cover the carpet and we have new carpet in here rather than our old one which we have had in the other rooms. So yeah, I think Steve is going to be on roller duty. <laughs> <laughs>
okay i think steve managed to film all of this but he's just done one coat on the ceiling so far it looks so much better um i'm not gonna film the other two coats because the first coat is satisfying the other two are very boring um he is not enjoying doing it with the roller because it takes so much longer than using the sprayer like literally 10 times longer um and it's a lot more difficult like physically as well so if anyone is planning on having ceilings plastered in their house they've got a, like numerous ones to do i will link down below the paint sprayer we have because honestly it is so so worth it like i said two more coats and then we're going to leave it overnight and then tomorrow um we'll come in here and we'll start painting as well at the end of today i think we'll give it a quick lick of paint on the bottom just to cover it with white to try and take out some of the contrast so that we can go over it with the lighter kind of paint for my good morning guys so we have already been busy in this room we have just painted a second coat on the walls so they are looking a lot better now um they're kind of touch dry so plan now we actually are going out um later on today so we're going to quickly rush and get a couple of bits done we need to put the blinds back up i got custom made um blackout blinds for this room because steve like films and streams and stuff um, sometimes he needs to like block out all the sun um, so we need to reinstall those so we're going to put one up here one up there on both windows obviously um, and then I basically want to do that first get all like the dirty bit done and then we are going to clean the window sills and prime the window sills I was saying to Steve these are the last dark brown window sills in this room so we're really excited to get rid of them basically um, so yeah, we're going to prime those, head out, then tomorrow, I don't know, we'll have to finish off this room because I am dying to have my office back. So I want Steve to be in here because he's using mine at the moment. So yeah, let's get cracking.
Okay guys, it is the next day. We have been busy this morning. Um, painting the window sills, we've done two more coats on the window sills. We've touched up the skirting boards, installed a couple of our snazzy black plug sockets where we still have the old ones. I don't really film any of it because honestly, it's really not that interesting. But we are starting to move furniture back in. Plan now is we're gonna put the curtains back up now that the window sills are dry. Um, we're gonna be doing some little frame DIYs for Steve's wall and then Steve is gonna bring in his desk situation as well. So this is like the final stretch. It is, yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> we are nearly done with this room. Um, and honestly, it's already just looking so much better, but we're just gonna crack on, aren't we? We are. I'm feeling way too low to start this night, but I want to get to your bash. Last night you tried to make me angry, but this time I get you mad. Oh, don't need apologies enough for this. I'm burning for you. Right, while Steve finishes setting up his desk, I'm gonna work on these shirts. So I did these two temporarily, but basically what we have is some of these Reba frames from Ikea. Super cheap, we have just taken out the glass and everything from it. And basically these ones that I did temporarily, <laughs> I just wrapped the shirt around there and kind of attached that board on the back. What I'm gonna do now is redo those two and do these new two tops as well. I'm just gonna use my staple gun and some staples, basically wrap it around the frame and just put a couple of staples in the back to fasten them and they should kind of look like football shirt canvas type things. And these will go in the background of Steve's kind of like filming setup. And we are done. This has been a pretty productive weekend. I'm gonna quickly give you a run round of the room. Let me show you what it was looking like before and what it looks like now. So I will say there are still some things that will be changed. One massive thing is that we haven't put the door on yet. <laughs> we were gonna do that this weekend. We've just run out of time and we're tired and actually wanna enjoy our weekend. So as you can see, shirts are up on the wall. I'll see if I can put in a clip of like from Steve's setup because it looks pretty cool all lit up and everything. Also, these are great for acoustics because it's like the sound doesn't kind of like bounce off the hard surfaces as much. So having the sofa, some like framed shirt 
and the canvas on the wall kind of breaks that up a little bit um i've just got four up here for now there is a fifth one that's going to be going up as well these are all going to kind of change i think as steve wants them he wanted five along that whole wall at the back um because yeah that's directly opposite his desk we also have the sofa bed in here which is from ikea we got an extra cover from etsy to go on it um we've never really used it to be honest <laughs> we've never really needed to but it's nice to have that option so this isn't just a study and then above it i've just hung this canvas kind of temporarily just so it's not a big blank wall as you walk in so that's probably not going to stay i reckon the football tops are probably wrap around at some point but we're not quite there yet moving on to steve's desk this is definitely like the star of the show um this is a diy desk if you're looking for a big desk this is such a good option the drawers underneath are from ikea the desktop is actually a worktop from ikea and i'm not even gonna try and explain the whole setup that steve's got going on here there is quite a lot he knows a lot more about it than i do it's big enough to kind of accommodate all of his different needs and then obviously we have the blackout blinds as well as the curtains in here um so he can block out light when he's streaming and stuff and the curtains again really good for like sound absorption the only thing i think we need to bring in here is like a little side table with our printer uh we did have a side table it broke so that is something we need to do as well but transformation from when we moved into now is just insanely different we did really like the dark color we had in here before but we were saying this earlier that i don't think it works having it in a half half and half like that we would it would work if it was completely all dark but we definitely like this lighter kind of color it's just brightening the whole room up way better for what steve wants and when he does his like funky lighting and stuff um it looks a lot better so really happy with the results um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because, as per usual, we've got loads more stuff going on in the house. Um, so make sure you are following along with the renovation journey. And I will catch you guys in the next one.